Welcome everyone, Adam Zubu here as the recording of this Tuesday, August 10th, 2021. My 47th birthday and I have decided to spend it with a doubleheader baseball game at Angels Stadium. It is about 1.40 p.m. The first game against the Blue Jays will happen at a little after 3. The second, a little after 7 p.m. I have tickets for both. This will be the first time I have ever experienced a doubleheader anywhere. Should be fun and a nice relaxing way to spend my birthday. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? And since I dropped off my rental car, ended up getting dropped off here at the forefront of the stadium. So do not need to pay the $10 to park. Just gonna walk in. Gates usually open 90 minutes prior to first pitch. So just about time, by the time I get up to the gates, you can see really no one in the parking lot as of yet, as of 1.42 p.m. Highly doubtful there will be any batting practice, not only because it's a day game, but also because it's incredibly warm out here. Well warm for SoCal, that is. My plan is just to enjoy the game, meander around the stadium, and eat lots of food. Hey, it's my birthday. Granted, I do that every other day too, but now it's justifiable. This will also be the last Angels game I will be attending for the month of August because tomorrow, boarding a plane and heading to Central Florida when I get to my East Coast home in celebration, Throughout the rest of the month, I have a couple of Tampa Bay Devil Rays games, well, formerly Devil Rays games, lined up. I will be rooting for them. I have two quote-unquote home teams. Anaheim Angels, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, and the Tampa Bay Rays, if you will. It's kind of confusing, but since I'm back and forth, those are the two teams I root for. Today, it's definitely the Angels. Now, if things go well, when I am back here in September, into the middle of September, I might still go, might catch a couple of these, but just kind of flip-flopping back and forth, if you will. Well, I stand corrected. There is batting practice, surprisingly, even under the elements and the heat, Southern California heat at 153, they are doing batting practice, which is good. Not a whole heck of a lot of people out in right field at all, or left field for that matter, because there's really no one here yet at all. So it'd be a pretty good chance to even try to get a, a home run during batting practice. No luck on that one. And just like that at 2 p.m., just uh, within a matter of moments of me being out in the outfield with no no home run balls hit out this direction, they're starting to pull away. The, the ground crew is out now and they're removing all of the fencing for batting practice. That's it. To give a general layout of the land, my seats for the first game are in 205, right up here in the shade. 205 on the third base side. I believe the upper decks for the first game are not even available. So none of the 500, none of those are even available. That way the cleaning crew between games can take care of business very quickly. My second, the second game, the 7 p.m. game, I'm sitting right over in this area, right on the wall, the first seats for the first seat. I believe it's 2306 right on that corner right on the wall, so could get pretty lucky. I ended up having tickets for the second game. The first game, for some reason, on the website was not working, so I had to call and get tickets that way, and they informed me that they are going to have everyone leave their seats, come down into this little alcove veranda area. They're gonna do a temporary cleaning between games, and then you go to your second seat, so you need tickets for both seats. Although I think a lot of people probably will just stay and try to find seats, but I, I bought tickets for both games. Not a lot of food options open at the moment. I was overhearing one of the workers and they said at first pitch, a lot of the, the restaurants and walk-up food places will start to open. Oh, check this out. You can customize your own jersey. I could get my name on the back of one of these. That's something to think about for the future. I'm not gonna do it today, but that might be kind of a cool idea. This is the hat I lost yesterday on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, right there. I also like the blue one, the, I have the blue lowercase a, but I don't have the capitalized a, so that's maybe something to think about. At some point I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta restock this for myself though. But yeah, I have the throwback lowercase a, but I don't have the capital A. To be more technical, I do have the, I do have the capitalized a, but it's just, it's just on the red, the red cap. And there's the matchup. And as stated, not really a lot of food open yet till first pitch. 
I gotta find something though. Gotta get some lunch. As more of the ground crew prepares for the, the very first game, first pitch, kind of doing their thing out here on the diamond with the dirt and, you know, all the playing field and whatnot, I have found one hot dog stand that did have the Hoffy dog. Very kind of weird of standing here in this little courtyard, but I found the Hoffy dogs, which are also known as an angel dog. Got a little mustard and a little onion. I'm gonna start off with this and then find my way to my seats for my first game of the double header. I've seen this area right over here kind of being like a full on party, party zone, if you will, for some of the night games. But right now, no one in this little area. I was lucky to find enough a hot dog because first pitch hasn't happened yet. But up on the, the main deck all the way near third base, they had some hoffy dogs here. Hmm. Celebrating 60 years, according to this little placard. And then looking up at what the breeze is like with the wind blowing here across the, the flags out in center field. One thing I always like to do is go over to the bullpen and watch the pitchers and catchers warm up. Catchers warm up just as much as the pitchers do before each game. You know, having one of the coaches throw the ball to them just to kind of stretch a little bit, get warmed up. Not only just normal pitches, but also into the dirt throwing them into the dirt because not every pitch is going to be a strike. A lot of them are going to kind of go not the way the pitcher directs it and into the dirt and the catcher has to hone their skills to catch it. Always fascinating to, I think the most underappreciated position in my opinion is probably the catcher. It, it, it's a difficult one, that's for sure. Now this is very interesting. Even though this is being played at Angel Stadium, it is technically a Toronto Blue Jays home game. It's a makeup game. So the Angels are going to be batting first. And even though I paid for a seat on the third base line for game one, since Otani's batting second, I'm going to go out here to right field. As you can see, not a whole heck of a lot of people over in right field. And no one up in the upper decks. The, the upper decks are completely closed off for game one. As I said, a makeup game where the Angels are the away team. And that's different, right? And Otani is up. <laughs> you up in your chances? I know. <laughs> I think everyone's got the same idea. Everyone is, is ready, ready to pounce if the ball gets hit out here. I have moved back over into the shade. You know, the night game, I'll be sitting over there on kind of the railing of right field. There'll be a lot more people, I'm sure. I'm not the only one with the same idea about staying in the shade. Both teams <laughs> in the bullpen, they're all just kind of nestled there under the awnings. And there's really hardly anyone The game one. Got him, got him. Ooh, base hit. Base hit. The third base line. Oh yeah, got a run in. Angels have scored. On a side note, both games, including the first, will only be seven innings. Shouting MVP for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Kind of interesting, the top two home run leaders are both playing in this game. Vladimir and Shohei. Oh, man. That was right at his face. Last game I went to was at Dodger Stadium. I was noticing they have a much less space for the batter's eye than they do here at Angel Stadium. You can see they have the, the waterfall. They have this little monster energy area. They have all the turf over there and they have the turf over there. There's a lot more seats in left and right field at Dodger Stadium than there is at Angel Stadium. I wonder why. I wonder why there's so much more here for the batter's eye area, which is set up so that the batter has a, a clear shot of the pitch heading to home plate. For future reference, if you're here during a day game and the sun is not set yet, and you want to sit field level, 
stay away from the first base side, go over to the third base because you can see how it's shaded out. And after 6.37 p.m., it won't matter at all because it'll all be shaded. Because so I'll be sitting out there in the outfield. Okay, I ran over here. I didn't realize Otani was up next. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. Dang it. Oh. Got to admit, it's kind of nice when the stadium's relatively this empty to just kind of move around at will to wherever you want. Stepped out on this little walkway. Getting a look at the 530 traffic. Going by on the freeway. Oh, something just happened. Only two outs needed for this game to be over. Because it's only seven innings. Even though the scoreboard says nine innings, it's only seven innings. In fact, already got the grounds crew down there waiting to open up those doors in the outfield so they could go do their jobs in between the two games. They're just waiting, waiting for that last out. There it is. That's it. That's the game. Game one of the doubleheader in the books. Angels win. And now basically what they do is empty out the stadium and you either have to go outside and get in line with everyone else to get back in or go in this little corral area. And after you're corralled in here, a couple minutes later, quick cleaning. Now heading back in over to my outfield seats. Quick and easy. And before heading over back out to the outfield, I'm going to hit the Spud's Fry stand up. Oh yeah, this is so good. A little miniature potatoes with the sour cream, the cheese, the cheese on top of there. A little pulled pork. I'm going to show a little bit of the potatoes there. Oh yeah. This is so good. And for the second game, the upper deck is open. And the sun is kind of setting behind the stadium, so pretty nice to have shade all through. Oh, Otani's going for three. Triple. Oh, yeah. People really don't like this guy. Middle deck. Go, go, go. They're hurrying. Who's going to Just going to kind of shift around a little bit. The seats I was sitting in were pretty good, but there were people sitting next to me and behind me. Not a lot of elbow room. Close quarters, and since there are a lot of open seats, I'm just going to kind of meander. Maybe pick a few others out in the outfield. But first, I'm going to get some ice cream. Oh, yeah. This is what we're dealing with. A little vanilla soft serve with some sprinkles inside the, the helmet. The collectible Angels helmet. This is a little bit smaller than the helmet was that had the potatoes in it. But man, this is, a, this, is a, this is some nice, delicious, tasty treat. Now my seats were over there on that far corner right on the front. But yeah, it was a, it was a little congested. And I realized like probably during the, the playoff seasons and you know, it's postseason, I could understand being crammed in with others, but in all honesty, I really prefer this type of environment a lot more. Or up there, or just kind of, yeah. I just, so I just decided I'm just going to enjoy my soft serve, soft serve here, with a little bit more space. Some of the open, the open seats that are through here. Oh, looks like a little, little bit of a wave going on, starting anyway. The wave is starting. Going to grab a seat over here in left field now. Also had a little craving for another angel dog. So went ahead and got a, another one. Another Hoffy with mustard and onions. I don't think there's anything wrong with having two hot dogs for, for my birthday, right? Got an oversized water to wash everything down. You got the one liters here, which are kind of nice. Don't have to buy two or three of them, just buy one big one. It's so healthy. Oh, pop up, pop up. 
pop up. Just one more out needed and the game is over. Angels still down four to zero. Up. Oh, 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 base hit, base hit. Two outs though, two outs. Two men on base. We need a base hit here and then Otani's up. This could be good or it could all end right here. Walked him. Going over to... This is it. Woo! Could happen right here. Holy cow, I just sprinted from over there. Bases loaded. This is it, man. Woo! Oh! Popped up. Oh yeah, the hype is real. Woo, man, I ran so fast. Come on. Oh, what was that? Oh, come on. Two strikes. Oh, come on. Struck him out. Struck him out. Game's over. Dang, that could have been so awesome. Besides the ending, up to bat, the best home run hitter in the game this year. Bases loaded. Could have tied it up. I was in the right place in right field where he had hit them before. I thought maybe it'd be a birthday miracle to get my hands on a home run ball. It did not happen. At least I got to see a doubleheader. And a relaxing, fun day to spend your 47th birthday. <laughs> Enjoy a nice baseball game, some delicious stadium food, besides the sounds and the ambiance of Angel Stadium and a nice cool breeze in the Southern California air. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. Oh yeah, one last thing. Should add in the time that I am departing. 9.40. A lengthy day. The Anaheim Angels Stadium. The Los Angeles Angels. I'm just gonna call them of Anaheim.